Uh, so six alpha. Bad blood, then? bad blood is June twenty second. Because yeah, I need to block that out too. Yes, yeah, so you need to block that out. Do you want to go to Red Storm? Yes. Then you need to block out. That's the weekend before that. Oh. I'm gonna need a lot of week. <laughs> Work it out, man. Work it no, out. No, I've got it. I've got it. You got it. It's cool. I've got it. If you haven't noticed, we have Chris from Warfighter here today. So uh, Chris is we just plugged him in our last video. Yeah. Yay. Well, no, because we were waiting for you to come. And then so we and just so got George bored. And we're like, and well, we're like, let's just film another one and we'll put it up whenever. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're like, yeah, now, so now we have to put it up before this one. So assuming I don't get deathly ill, it'll go up on the, before this episode. <laughs> yes. You guys are so sweet. But now that you're here. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks. We're just retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. So you guys know that was a here. horrible comment. <laughs> to make the and then I apologize. <laughs> Much uh, laughter. We'll answer questions. Chris is going to answer some questions. You want to start us off? Sure, sure. All right. We played a game last one where we were throwing each other questions. We were picking each other. Yeah, questions. he was picking questions for me, and, and I was picking questions. Kind of like it was, it was, we were like doing like the noodle thing from Lady and. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible middle middle <laughs> picture. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Dicker, when will we, uh, when will we see brushless brushless motors in AEGs? The RC industry has been using them for years. The pros far outweigh the cons. Serious bump in RPS. I agree. Uh, I've asked myself this question many times. Uh, the thing with brush, brushless motors that I've noticed with the RC industry anyway is that they they are a larger diameter. Um, mm. So I'm not sure for the size motors that we need for airsoft if you're going to have the same power output that you would with a brushed motor with the size of the can and the size of the stator if you don't know what those are those are the parts of the motor um so i don't i don't know why we don't don't use brushless that I, you know more about that kind of stuff than i do in terms of the rc market so. the other thing is that uh brushed motors they just have a positive and a negative that make them function <laughs> this is how <not> motor works. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. and, and brushless motors for when I do, used to do like RCs, like they they have the component that lets you like monitor them, which is pretty cool if you're using like an electronic speed control, um, which is pretty cool because then you can actually fine tune like the wind up of the motor and you can uh, tune in active braking and slow down. So it's basically what a MOSFET does to a brushed motor. Um, but with a brushless motor, you also have to there's a third or fourth wire depending on what you're using. Um, and it's either a neutral um, or it's a or it's a, a component that uh, that functions in tandem um, with another set of resistors that that go in line with the battery. So when talking about brushless motors, you may be actually adding more circuitry and wiring than is really necessary for airsoft guns, which may be why they haven't uh, haven't done it. Uh, but yes, it's a good question. I am so confused. I know. Oh. I'm just gonna. I just went like. Whoa. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. pretty much. Sorry, Matt. So I'm just going to side with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, you're right. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. But, you, I, but I, you're I, definitely right. Brushless <clears throat> motors are capable of some really, really high speeds. Uh, but if, you know, if they're limiting the rate of fire anyway. Next question. Uh, Denison Garnett. Will a mock silencer damage your hop-up? No. What? Like your unit or like the hop? I, obviously Unless the your BB. BBs are coming out like, it shouldn't, as long yeah. as it's aligned with the barrel, it, it's it won't damage your hop up at all. I have had in the past when we had like hollow mock suppressors, and my hop up wasn't tuned exactly right. I did have if the opening of the hole of the mock suppressor is too it? small. Oh, uh, I have had BBs like contact the edges of the oh. hole in the mock suppressor, and it, like bounces around and rattle around inside. I've actually had that too. Now that I think about it, with the yeah. MP7 suppressors. Interesting. Yeah, but the ones that uses like that use like the spring loaded like barrel that actually like increase FPS. No, they don't. They don't. I don't even know. I don't know what this what I'm doing, but that's so the, how the, I feel. So the <laughs> answer is yes, it can damage the BB if your hop up is too high. But if you have your hop up dialed in correctly, it doesn't affect it. Correct. As yes. long as it's aligned correctly. Everybody, yeah. everybody, cool with that answer. You, you, I don't think you should be worried about your hop up. Your BB is not so much, but your hop up obviously won't break. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Moving on. All right. <laughs> Come on. Good question. Good question. Good question. Here we go. Jasper Osman asks, Dear Evic, what is your opinion on using hunting camo for airsoft? Also, have you played any scenarios where human shields were allowed? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a twofer. Those are completely separate questions. But, uh, okay, let's go with the hunting camo first. What do you guys think of hunting camo? Uh, Cryptech. 
it's exactly yeah, Cryptic is I technically think, a hunting camo. It's yeah. a militarized it was, hunting camo. It right? was developed for hunting, though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. originally. Uh, but Mossy Oak, I think, is really... really... Mossy Oak. <laughs> well, if you're role-playing a hunter who's been caught in a war zone, <laughs> get your orange vest out and go to town. Uh, <laughs> don't no, wear an, no. Okay. Don't wear an orange vest because you're just gonna confuse someone as a ref. <laughs> oh, true, true. <laughs> Mossy oak is a really effective camo against wild animals. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've actually seen some some people do it. I mean, nothing against them. If that's what they want to use. That's what they want to use. As long as everyone's having fun. And as for body shields, opinions. Done it. You've done it. numerous times. I'm reminded of Actually, jet taking it... hostages and like walking <laughs> around this field. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I would say it, it needs to be encouraged, not just allowed. Encouraged yeah. to use body shields. <laughs> well, okay. So I don't. I mean, I don't necessarily uh, uh, support like grabbing somebody and like moving them around Why in not? front of you because that's that's kind of not. If the guy is not in agreement with what you're doing, it's kind of a jerk move. If if you don't okay, know but the if person, the, if right? The, yeah, but if it's if you, you and know, me, I think I'm if you know the person, you. I think it's <laughs> totally I mean, should a, be allowed and encouraged. From a from a personal defense <laughs> standpoint, if a guy goes down in front of me. As he's walking away, I will use I will use his body as an interim shield without his knowledge, and if he gets hit, walk off the field faster. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, you're <and> pulling out. <laughs> uh, we I think I think the more people watch this, the more they're finding out that we're really not fair players. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm not really a fair player. No, we all get we all get a little heated sometimes. <laughs> a little heated. There are lots of tips and tricks you can use. Okay, anyway, continue. <laughs> Blackwing airsoft vids. Hey, Evic, I was wondering, if you were to make your own custom airsoft field, what would it be like? CQB, Woodland, Urban. A mixture of everything, and there would be a point where you would insert by Zodiacs. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa now. Whoa. Or fast boats. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Or helos. Or helos. Or I parachutes. Mean, okay. If I do Russian roulette, I don't stuff one of the parachutes. I think what? <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think it needs to have everything. I think it needs to have water, like you said, woods mm -hmm. with a little bit of mountain there, which would have the CQB inside the facility, you know, inside yeah. the buildings. And then it needs to have just some place where you can repel for no reason at all. <laughs> the liability, though. I think my person. You sign a waiver to repel. Yeah. You just have it built into there. You're like, hey, you're gonna repel. You're gonna be stupid. I think all my. Right, you I sign think my... this waiver. You. That's true. That's true. I mean, I think my perfect airsoft field has already been made. ITS stops is like, dude, there's indoor. There, oh, yeah. Outdoor. It's got to have pyro. Yeah. It's got to have mm -hmm. pyro for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, ITS. That's a good one. Dude, it's, that feels amazing. And, of course, we've got that one uh, that I've heard about that I have yet to to visit is the, the, the indoor inside the warehouse. It's an outdoor field. Uh, it's a yeah, CQB. Yeah, up, 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 uh, it's, uh, wow. Brain fart. Are you talking about GamePod? Yeah, GamePod. Yeah, game oh. oh, man, that field is great. What they need to do, though, is get the sprinklers no, for the fire sprinklers on, like, a lever this. so that you then, can, like, on that rain angle, games. On that type of floor, you'll just, <laughs> you just won't stop. You'll try to stop, and you'll just keep sliding. That's fine. You'll just have get a running start and just go down the yeah, field. Yeah, like, and it'll Shoo. basically be all the players will be on stretchers <laughs> with, broken, with broken ankles and broken knees. He's the one all not packing people's parachutes when they're <laughs> jumping out of, of, of the two. You're going to a much shorter fall to the ground. <laughs> Like I said, it's a little bit more messed up. Jeez, uh, mine's not even that bad. Basically, all three of us are in agreement. It needs to be the most extreme. And there's some danger. Just, just danger. Think, just think about my field. Like you would, you would zodiac in. in. You would like Ricky, Ricky recon through some brush, and then you assault a city. And then that's where you get See, your. See, I one up you. So well, basically, zodiac in. you go up a huge cliff, and then you assault a city, and then you go down the other side of the cliff. Yeah, what but is going up? we we so seen... tired by the time they get to shoot something. Yeah, They're exactly. Sitting on the ground, like I hope I hit him. Like, Where's my water? <laughs> Uh, how do you top that that conversation we had? Just <laughs> oh, unpacked parachute. <laughs> <sighs> you messed up, man. Hey, man, gotta initiate someone somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Inquisitor Freeman asks, "Hey guys, here's a question about friends borrowing gear. How would one say deal with friend borrowing BB's gear and guns? It gets annoying lately with every trying to borrow this stuff from me. Please help. I have a lot of experience in this and I hate it. If any of my own teammates are watching, you know who you are. I've lost batteries. I've lost tools. I've lost. <laughs> I've had dumb pouches ruined BBs. by hot dogs. David. 
Oh. <laughs> and Ryan. Uh, we don't borrow BBs. You, no, you take I go BBs. back on the Yeah, no, no, it's like, that's what I'm saying. That's like the one, here's the one, this one's special, I got it's somebody like that, in the it's dome. It's like that guy in high school is like, hey, can I borrow a dollar? You're not gonna give it back. Yeah. Can I have a dollar is the correct. Yeah. Can I have can some BBs? lend me, lend me some BBs? Can I borrow some gum? I will, oh God. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I don't want it back, no. I'd say, you gotta be careful and you, and you gotta mm. kind of, if you find that you're losing things or whatever, and it might not be their fault, they just might be losing, you know, hanging on to it by or... accident or whatever. And people forget all the time. Like I just, I found your sling a long time ago, and it was in my bag for a while. And I'm I like, think hey, I, is I this think it? I actually put that there. I don't know why. I, you didn't borrow it. I put it there. <laughs> yeah, I know you put it there, but the point is, <laughs> I, it didn't, I didn't realize where it came from. Yeah. I asked you if it was yours. You're like, I don't know, it might be mine. And then we finally figured out it was yours. I, I, well, I found a bunch of lipo batteries because I don't, I don't like. It. I found a bunch of lipo batteries in the dump pouch, and I was like, Matt, I found these batteries, and he like opens it, and he's like, "Thanks, I was missing these." I <laughs> took all five of my batteries. And I was like, "What?" <laughs> and he's like, "Foxfire eleven point ones, they're mine. I'm, I'm the only one who uses this one." And I was like, "Oh, sorry, sorry." I don't know how you I think feel. I think uh, a, a good way to dissuade people from keeping or hanging on to your borrowed gear is make sure you clearly mark that it's yours. And that, I mean, no, you that, gotta, that didn't matter. That's why really? I changed all my batteries to Dean's because all my teammates don't have Dean's, so that That's way smart. they can't use my batteries. What now? That's smart, too. I take cash, and I hold on to it, and then you're not getting Even your friends? cash back. Even huh? friends? Yeah. Mm. I'll do, like, or if, if there's a friend that's, like, just borrowing BBs, a hey, man kitchen a little bit later yeah we purchase more buy me a bag next time yeah or buy me lunch yeah. uh stuff like that Ge- gear wise i haven't really um with this with the circle of friends i play with you don't have that i much. actually i'm actually the one that borrows the most <laughs> do you, do but so from the other accident? side no no i return <laughs> it and i usually buy lunch oh. I'm, a, I'm a good borrower See, I'll loan you tools any day. And by the way, those tools that I thought were stolen actually were in my bag. I found them. Well, actually, no, they're on my table. Whatever. <laughs> but still, I think I, I missed... the last place I, I had to buy new Allen wrenches because all of mine Of course they're the last place you looked because then you found them. Cobalt Rose 249. <laughs> hey, insert. is it okay to use other kinds of lubricant for your gas blowback systems other than silicon oil? Like, say, the kind of oil that they used for impact wrenches and other pneumatic tools. I've used, uh, what was that lube like called fire lube or something? Somebody, I don't know. I've used some uh, different lubes. I don't, they, they work. Um, okay. So, so the rubber that's used in hop up units and buckings is very sensitive, um, to other kinds of, of lubricants and solvents and things. And so depending on the lubricant that you're choosing, um, if, it, if it's designed outside the constraints of the materials used in gas blowback units and assemblies, um, you can have a problem with, with O-rings and things breaking down or being damaged. Uh, and that's the reason they, they, um, they suggest using 100% silicon is because it's, it's practically inert. It has no effect on, on most rubbers and things like that. Um, one thing I was talking to Shades about using uh, is because he uses a Daytona gun, and he's been experimenting with this dry lubricant that sprays on as a liquid and then dries, mm-hmm. um, and it's really thin, and it's it's just like silicone, meaning like it's it's inert, it doesn't affect any of the, the seals or anything. I can't remember the exact name of it. If I can convince him to tell me again, I'll post it on my Facebook what the uh, what the actual lubricant's called. But it's a spray on dry lubricant. And it's pretty cool. Uh, but as for using like pneumatic tool lubricants, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would. I would be very careful. Uh, same thing with gun lube too. Just make sure it won't damage any O rings, like you said. Mm-hmm. Agreed. You agree? You yeah, agree? agreed. Who's, Sorry. Who picked that one? That was me. Hell yeah. Okay. Match stick. What do you think about the different medic systems of reviving a team member? Like counting to ten, liquid transfer bottles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And which one is your favorite? I have no idea what you mean by liquid transfer bottles. The uh, only one I heard of, the only one I heard of of that is like I think uh, <clears throat> for like a regen, somebody had it where you had to drink like a bottle of water to keep you hydrated. You know, it's kind of like. <laughs> oh. So that's actually a good idea. That's I've had hard. probably the. It wasn't a medic system, but there was this game. Uh, it's called. Um, it's based off of Age of Empires. It's up in uh, Fraser Park, which I don't know if you've played there, but it's like this huge mountain. 
Uh-huh. And uh, it's based off a of risk, so everybody's like a faction, and you're. It's called uh, I forget what it's called, but the regen for that was you had to go back and like eat a like two or three like a jelly bean or something like that. What? <laughs> like that was your regen rule? Is you had to eat like five jelly beans or something? Know. And that way, if you if you ran out of jelly beans, you no longer could revive anybody. <laughs> so, oh wow! So that was like controlling it. Um, I don't know. We've done I, the white band thing. I think the, the, the I, masking tape around your arm. Hey, cool! You got a blue blue oh, tie. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, it's fantastic. It was I'm bat. gonna wear this the entire day now. Well, they were asking for me to bring the tie back, so. Oh, okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm cool. I actually <laughs> like if like for walk on game days, hand on on the chest or whatever. Simple. Count to a number is fine. I like putting on the bandage. What I don't like is when it's when you can when you can drag someone away from the field or from away from the firefight but then they're walking under their own power that's that's why american milsim did that change where they had to like actually drag yeah that's the... what i want i want you to fire me and carry me to safety what or drag there's this like 80 pound 12 year old kid whose dad has like brought him to the event he's like, <laughs> i want to save you but i can't well, think about, train how up. Many... <laughs> <laughs> think about how many times, though, we're, I mean, I agree with you what you're saying, mm. but, uh, I mean, on the flip side, like, I mean, uh, I don't, like, somebody once at Army birthday was going to try to pull me by, like, this crappy, well, not crappy, but, like, this Oakley bag I was wearing that was just, like, a vintage one that looked, uh, like, really old school, mm. but, like, if you would have pulled on that, I mean, that had no load-bearing strength, that probably just would have ripped or something uh, like that, so, I mean. Well, I think the coolest one that I've seen, what event was this, where they had, like, they were, like, the, they were, like, the, the, the paracord bracelets but they were elastic and they were white and they like you just stretch them and click them on well, that was no it was that was for a game and david made a bunch of them but all you had to have was a white rag yeah and that's you just tie it around it but yeah. we just we just did the clips <clears throat> yeah the clips so. were super cool <clears throat> and they had they were easy to get on and off and just clip on something else because you don't have to worry about you know tying i'm all for uh tourniquets around the neck huh yeah yeah. I don't. And then you just kind of grab you're by the a neck and drag it <laughs> You gotta crank it down. Make sure there's no more bleeding. <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> like back in. <laughs> I, I I agree with with everything that was said. Besides the turning it on the neck, right? No, I, I don't agree. With that. I think right. that's awesome. I think no. let's let's do it. All right, who's next? I grabbed uh, that one. So. Uh, I'm gonna try to go. Oh, I got helmet contact. Oh, you're a dangerous oh. man. We gotta live on the edge. Right? Live on the edge. <laughs> Too much on the edge. Oops, it's upside down. Willie Jordan, what is the worst field you've ever played at? Oh. I'm. St- I'm I actually the might have to go. Worst field. The worst field. I might have to go with Fraser Park on this one, because that field sucks <clears throat> for my knees. Worst field. <sighs> the worst field. You don't like Asperia at all. It's not the worst. You know what field I didn't like because it was boring? I didn't like the old the old uh, Simi Valley Jericho. Yeah, I agree just, with that. Like, I only played there once. But it's I not, nothing against the people that worked there, uh, you know, or the... It was just the field was boring, and it was dusty. It was just boring. Uh, I'm going to have to go with... What's that place where Army Birthday Game is? Yeah, that's Asperia. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah. you mean the film set? Yeah. Really? What? Because that field isn't... That's not, It's not a field. It's a movie set. It's not meant for gameplay. No, it isn't. So the the gameplay... It's very one-sided. Yeah. Whoever it, has the city keeps the city. I, I, well, I wouldn't even say... Like, just some of the hills and you, stuff. No, that, hold like, on. You're biased because you never played on the right team for that game. You I, never play the good guys at that place. You no, always got to be the terrorist. Oh, well, if you're yeah, the terrorist, the you have guy. way more fun because you just run around. See, but that, that's not how a game should be. <laughs> but that's how it is there. Trust me, I played both sides, and I have way more fun being a terrorist but running that's around like an idiot than I ever be. did playing as, like, uber special forces, dude. To, because then now everyone wants to be terrorists, and now no one wants to be the good guys. No, that's not true because there's plenty of – there's there's people lining up to look like they're Milsim, So, I, I think that a game – a field should be able to – it's 50-50 right okay. down the middle. I, and I, I don't think that... It's not... Uh, I don't think that field... <laughs> that movie set provides that. Okay, that's good. What about you? Oh, Matt, I already said it. I, already, I, already said I, it. I was just like... Well... I love the gameplay of Fraser Park, but it's just too many hills, and uh, my knees just want to explode by the end of that game. Is that the Fraser Park? Where was it? Where is it? Or okay. What game? Am I thinking... Jack's been there. CJ's been there. 
<laughs> Surgeon's Radio or Surgeon's Airsoft. That's Sergeant. Sergeant's. <laughs> he, I'm usually the ones who mispronounce his names. Sergeant's Airsoft. Hey, even when you bring the Humvee to a Milsim event, do you drive around and shoot whatever moves? <laughs> or have a teammate radio you when they need support? Both. A little bit from column A, a little, a little bit, bit from, from column B. Because usually, okay, the last one we, we actually used like in game that I was that I was there for. Shades was on the gun, and he pretty much will shoot anything, regardless of <laughs> regardless of, uh, of 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 color. Okay, I, I would have to say it's a little bit from two columns because a it depends on who's driving it. Because some people are are a little bit more passive when they're driving it, so they're going slower, so you can actually identify. And then there's some people I'm not going to name names, Eddie, but uh, <laughs> he just basically just drives forward, and then you basically have to shoot at everything because you're surrounded. That's true. Usually we try to work in tandem with with our forces. So when, yeah. we, bring, when we bring the Humvee out, we're we're all in radio contact with our platoon leader or our squad leader, so we know where they are. Um, and we also get orders of where they would like us to be. So yeah. really, the Humvee is is a great way to assist in accomplishing objectives. So when we bring it to big games, when there are legitimate objectives like stuff needs to be captured or vehicles need to be stopped, that's where the Humvee really shines because it allows us to get to a point quickly uh, and to accomplish a goal or a mission very quickly. And when it's um, when it's coming from the outside, like if you have the shield in front of you, um, even though you can still easily get shot from that as the gunner, but you can put a lot of fire down really quickly with that M240. Yeah, and the other thing is we like to have the windows somewhat down when we're in the Humvee to make it fair. Because if you're all just sitting in the Humvee with the windows up, that it's kind of stupid. Can I can I put in a shameless plug to our to my my video and Jed's video of the Humvee chase? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I just want to say one. that that was freaking amazing, and I'm not gonna lie, you're the heat when it came to driving <laughs> that Humvee, man. Thank that you. was pretty good. Yeah, no, Matt. I, I watched Matt drive during that day, and Matt is the new Humvee driver for events. Your Ice Man. Your Ice you. Man. Well. Guys, like this, but <laughs> you, you did a good job. Let's put it this way: the Jeep did not win as many games during that because of Matt's driving ability. Yes. Well, also the Jeep had a severe disadvantage when they dropped the windshield. <laughs> like, that why? Was... <laughs> why you're taking the one thing that's in between you and airsoft guns and putting that down? Yeah, and they had a big tire to hide behind. Yeah. True. Well, that was us taking advantage of our vehicle. That was them saying, "Nah, we don't need us, this." Us <laughs> opening the rear hatch is extremely extremely uh, uh, against what you would do in real life. You would never open up that rear head. No, you'd rely on the it. gunner on the top, but yeah. we wanted to make it more fun for everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was it was fun. Very much fun. Go to my channel and watch it? Yes. <laughs> do you want to plug like your actual channel name? Well, I'll so put all the oh, annotations all over the screen right now for everything. <laughs> yeah, that, thanks. That Now I have to do like 40 of them. Good job, Matt. Yep. All right. Next question, Chris. Okay. And one more annotation right here. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like lag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. The the gan ganja 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 the ganja, ganja turtle. How can we stop our flashlights and lasers from being shot out in CQB? <clears throat> uh, Two options. Uh, you can use a flash kill, which they which kill they flash. kill flash. flash. Oh, it's kill flash. Yeah. You can get a kill flash that's used for a scope. They come in different di diameters, which you can find on our website here. Um, Next and they're they're like a honeycomb structure, and those really help to to. They basically shatter the BB before the BB shatters. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Uh. And, but they may not be designed for like the flashlight that you're using, so you may have to like glue it in. Or I, I like shoe goo because it's kind of like a rubbery or like hot glue because so you can always remove it if you want. Yeah. Um. Other options include going to your local hardware store. Um. Home and Depot getting or... if you have one, yeah. if you're in another country that doesn't have Home Depot, there's I'm sure you have like a like a hobby shop or something. Yeah, and you can buy sheets of Lexan. Uh, or buy sheets of like plexiglass, um, and those are great again to kind of glue in place. Just need a drill um, and something to cut it with. Yeah, yeah. it will uh, require some your own modification work to do. But we've done that with a few of our lights and stuff like that and scopes. I know pretty much everything is protected that is worth any real amount of money. Yeah, do it because don't be like me. I just had my <laughs> contour shot out. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, Miguel, Miguel think, got mine shot out right when I put my rage cam in. Luckily, it did not hit the lens. I think, oh. that's more, I think that's more a comment on the durability of said camera. No, it is, because the camera still works fine. But the lens. But the yeah, lens. I don't understand why they didn't the, put a good lens in it. GoPros have changeable lenses. Well, like the cases, really? yes. The case, actually, you could take the lens off and put it, and the lens covers are built to... 
be replaced. For that I'm already, I'm, I've already been convinced I'm going to go GoPro. Right? It's, it's, yes, it's bigger, and it's not the prettiest of cameras. In terms of for your helmet, yes. I The only thing I got the contour was for the Rage Cam thing. It's cool, but, I mean, I got it for cheap, so... But and there are other the ones, lens yeah. did get shot. I mean, the, the lens cover got blown out immediately. Yeah. So Also, it does not work well when dropped off buildings. Yeah, that too. Or when you jump out of one of my planes without a parachute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, well, I think you got more problems at that point than just your contour camera. Really cool no, footage okay. of the ground approaching very quickly. <laughs> we have William Ellis, the future of airsoft. <laughs> the future of airsoft is uh, what's the future of airsoft? Daytona guns. Uh, no, I think more CO two in the guns. I think CO two. I've been CO2. seeing more and more CO two. Yes, I think. I don't know. It'd be nice if. Motors. I think we will see brushless in the future. I think we'll see brushless motors in the future. It would be nice if they reduced the size of the motors, so that way the motor grips were a little bit more thinner, well, similar brush, to I, real the real yeah. stuff. Brushless motors also produce a lot of heat, so better well, venting is going to be. Yeah, a well, thing. either be better venting or some kind of you could maybe do something that's like a heat sink or something like that to. To spread yeah, the heat out, okay. you know, use uh, use some computer technology. I don't know. Here's what I want in the future: mm. a 50 cal machine gun, Polar Star that shoots eight millimeters. Whoa! Yes. yes. Talk about danger, danger. Yep. Will Robinson. I think that would actually be cool because then you <laughs> then it simulates the bigger round. Yeah, it, yeah it, there's nothing wrong with that at all, in my opinion. Something else that I think has been I uh, I think attempted in the past um, is, is uh, uh, registering vests. Uh, yeah, but there no, were there were a couple it, companies in the past that were thinking about trying to do uh, yeah, like a, like a BB registering like an impact uh, vest. They were, you could they were tell. doing one with like it was using a laser system that you would have on your gun as well. I don't. I think that kind of defeats. I think that defeats yeah. the point. Like it's a it's an honorable sport. Just be honorable, and everybody will have fun. And just have it be like that. Yeah. I don't think that's going to help the sport at all. Mm -hmm. I think Plus, it, I've used Miles gear, and that stuff is terrible. Yeah, it's horrendous. I'm sorry. There's no fear factor to it. No, yeah. yeah. Well, then fear is definitely... Pew, pew, that's the thing about pew, training. Not a factor for you. Me, I don't know about you, but when I did simulation, that fear level went up. That's true. Yeah. I was, was lucky. Really I got hurts. shot first, so they're all, like, <laughs> they're all like, hey, how'd it feel? I'm like, you'll find out. <laughs> hey, hey, Russell Card asks, objective-based games, long games, or fast-paced games? Personal preference? Make a fast-paced objective-based game. Whoa. Ooh. Bro, I don't know. I'm just... Mind blown. Get the fight! Get the fight! Get the fight! The round's over! Oh. <laughs> it's over. Uh, I, I prefer objective-based games. Um, maybe it's because I've been going to the same field a lot lately, but it's been turning more into speed soft than it is. Yeah, I, I like think... the I like the immersion effect. I like the milsim games, so I like the more. Well, that's what different, you know, makes it different than paintball. Yeah, in my opinion, and also, there's nothing that gets me more probably annoyed is when somebody says, "Oh, I got like this many kills." I'm like, really? Like that's what you care about is how many times you hit somebody? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That gets irritating too. The guys dying the most are usually the ones accomplishing the most. Like yeah. If you're getting shot a lot, it's probably because you're up near the front and yeah. probably because you're busy trying to accomplish goals. Yeah. Well, plus I think when it becomes all about getting killed or not getting killed, then the cheating comes into play. True. More than if you are an objective, you're like, oh, I got hit. Oh, well, like it's not yeah. the end of the world. I'm just going to go back to regen and get ready for the next part, you know? And, yeah. You know, I think that that plays more of a role. And that was proven with the ACA when they had games that were solely based on like a deathmatch style where once you got killed, mm -hmm. you were out there was more cheating than if it was you have to go get this True. from the other team. Oh, True. Wow. It was a lot more cheating. Apparently. Okay, so if the consensus is that objective-based games are more entertaining or more exciting than simply force on force <clears throat> or fast-paced games, uh, do you have a favorite objective-based game? Um, I think. All right, while you're thinking, I'll answer. How about that? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, uh, the most fun objective game I had was the same game I'm referencing at, at Fraser Park where you're controlling points. And the reason that was good is because everybody knew the objectives. There was no, like, you had to get this from command and go retrieve something. Because that gets kind of old when you're waiting for game staff to, like, register it. Where it was very simple of control these points. Whoever has the most points at the end, you know, controls the most points. At the end of a lot of time. At the end of a lot of time is the winner. And there was a strategy to it because there was, like, five teams involved. So you basically, like, the team I played with 
we were the civilian population, so we didn't push out too much. We just stayed in our little Australia, and then we, at the last minute, had all our energy and just took everything. And that, you know, so it brings in that level of sure. fun to it. And that's what I liked about that is it was everybody knew the objective of push this. You saw it on the map, pushed it, and then that's what your goal was. Versus like if it's go and get this case or go look for something. I hate to go look for something once, especially at George Air Force Base oh, when God. you're searching for room after room yeah. for like a note behind a cabinet, <laughs> and you're just like find the ammo box. But there are other ammo boxes around <laughs> yeah. that are not in play. Yeah. When somebody comes out and he's got like a got like this broken yeah. saw box. Is, Is this, this an objective? No. <laughs> oh. Or yeah. at Red Storm when? <laughs> Sorry, uh, at Red Storm three or two, there was this TV that was apparently, somebody said it was an objective out of this a joke, like the civilian <laughs> population told our team, we were the Spetsnaz unit of the Russian forces, that it was an objective. So we hauled this big ass, or sorry, big uh, CRT TV, yes, I have to bleep that out, this big TV like across the field, and then we got it, and we're like, we, we go, we go. Uh, our LT Todd tells it, he's like, hey, CJ, where do you want the TV? It's a, he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <a> maximum troll. <laughs> and it's, and then it's I just, just want to see these airsoft just, like, running across like, my view with the TV. Like, oh, and not, it, got, it got worse because we were, like, so we were trying to, like, trade it back with the civilian populace. <laughs> and if you, uh, you know, Alpha Wolf from the regiment was, like, hitting it or something like that, like, he's, uh, he was, like, uh, like, treating it like it was. So, um, like he's a, uh, like, a used car salesman. Yeah, like a know. table. Like no, a he table was just guy. like hitting it, and then he was just like, "Oh, this is broken." It's like pushing it over. Wow. And then uh, we were calling it like a MacBook or something like that. <laughs> like that was ridiculously re dumb, <laughs> but it was funny at the same time because so much I'm laughing about it right now. Do you have a favorite? Uh, I actually like the snatch and grab. Snatch and uh, grab, where it's like. I've got to attack your base, grab something, and haul out. That's fine. If you know what it is, yeah. you know where it's going to be, not like, hey, go look at these this whole apartment <laughs> complex, and you're going to find a little note behind a, a cabinet. Wouldn't you agree that's a little ridiculous? Yes. That, I, spend, that I, I spend two hours just opening cabinets. <laughs> True. Oh, I, like the, I like the snatch and grab in, this, in the sense that you both have, like, uh, uh, bases and there's like a mm. point in the middle that needs to be like you need to grab something from it mm. and then take it back to your base because then yeah. you're because then you're fighting over the same fair point yeah, yeah. Um, and I really like when like when the item goes down it goes down where it is it doesn't get yeah. reset to the middle mm. so that you know you may have to go into enemy territory to get it there was uh, at Insight last time I played they had this new game that I, I kind of like and what I like about the, some of the stuff they do there is all the objective-based games are still fast-paced games. They're just designed, like I said, to, to weed out the cheaters, and people have more fun because there's regens and everything. The objective was each team had six, basically, jugs of water, but they're empty, like those big 50 cal, uh -huh. those mm -hmm. big jugs. And you had to move them from you, to your stash, and they could take it from your stash and put it in theirs, whoever had the most at the end wins. Oh. Mm -hmm. So like, what the cool thing is, though, it's ongoing. The two stashes are like really close in the center, and then so you just... If you push up enough, you grab theirs, you bring them back to yours, sure. and vice versa. Oh. So it makes it kind of... I, I really like that kind of gameplay. Or um, There was another one called Football. You played football before yes. where you have like a cool. big container in the middle. You have to take the container and get it to their and, base. Oh, okay. So you actually have to like mm -hmm. attack, and it keeps the flow of Football's the game going well. Football is extremely difficult. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. It doesn't move very much. It might move like 10 to 20 feet either direction, yeah. mm -hmm. but I've never seen a football game completed in an end zone. Well, then you need to come up. You need to play with us. I guess we, we so. get it, We get it done. What? I don't ever get it done. All right, let's do one more. I'm having question. too much fun shooting people. This that was a good discussion, though. I felt like we, we covered a lot. Was of it bases. my turn? Did I just? Eh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't so matter. this is a final know. question. You think? Final? Yeah. Is, I think is, it, is it final oh. question worthy? Yeah. <laughs> Inquisitor <laughs> Freeman. Hi, what are your thoughts on people buying optics for the sake of looking cool? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know a lot of people who have optics on their guns, but they don't have a battery in the optic. Thanks for reading this. Greetings from the Philippines. What's up? Okay, I'm guilty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have I have a I have an ACOG a tan ACOG on my M27 that I took from the marketing department that I don't think they realize I still have. I'm sorry. No, I know you have. Okay, uh, it doesn't have a battery in it, nor does it work, and the eye relief on it sucks. Like if I have this, if I have the I stock, can see you. like if I have the stock extended where it's comfortable to fire, I've got to go like this and like get right up on the optic. Um, it is solely there for looks because when I fire my airsoft gun, like the barrels here anyway, and the stock's somewhere over here. 
So I'm completely guilty of just doing it for looks. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Because it makes my airsoft gun look cool. And these guys, I'm sure, disagree with me. Uh, I'm actually okay with people with, with people like you doing that. Because, like I said before, I'm in it for the immersion effect. Yeah. I want to I wanna feel like my old glory days. Uh, so it That's makes how everybody it... refers to their military career. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's true though. I but uh, old glory days, not hot and sweaty and uncomfortable for hours a day. No, yeah, days. no, yeah. It's the day where they come back to base and they have their bank account full of a lot of money. And they're like, let's go to the bar in Barstow and cause a bunch of fights. It's like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never, not even referencing never been you. To Barstow, but... <laughs> I'm not even referencing you. I'm referencing my high school friends. So you're okay with you're okay. With I'm people. okay with it. Uh, me personally, I do do the red dots uh, battery dial them in because once you get them dialed in, oh my gosh, that is such an advantage yes. in your favor. What I like about it, like with my LM4, with my T1 that I have on it, um, the primary arms one. What I like about it is it. One, if I leave it on, it's not a big deal because it'll last because mm -hmm. it's got like a thousand hours or whatever. You can nice. leave it on the lowest setting. That's one thing I like. But when you, what I noticed is when I've been playing airsoft indoors, if I'm using my offhand mm -hmm. and if I'm trying to see the BBs, it's a lot more difficult. And if I have the the sight dialed in, mm -hmm. makes my offhand so much more effective yeah, yeah. than it would be doing mm -hmm. it the other way. So mm -hmm. what I'm hearing is that I really should invest some time into getting a functional one. Yeah, you could just yeah. give the one back to the marketing so, department. Yeah. I mean, it won't be tan, but you could always paint it. That's why I picked it, because it was tan. <laughs> yes, but you could always paint it, and you can get a better ACOG. So you're saying that I would be more effective as an airsofter if I actually shouldered my airsoft gun In properly? In a CQB I, environment, definitely. Yeah, because I want you to think about it this way. Like, yes, you know you you can walk your BBs in really quickly, Yeah. but that's still taking a little bit of time for you to walk it in, where I just put my dot onto your face. And I get my sure. sweet, sweet yeah, revenge. That's it, 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 and also builds good habits for the guys. So maybe, yeah. maybe I should be practicing yes. better technique and and using a red dot properly. Yeah, but there's, there's nothing wrong. But there is there's, there's not nothing wrong with it unless it's, it's it is. In really, fact, you should all do it to give me the advantage. Yes. And it's and there's nothing. Put your optics here. on backwards. This is why Chris and I are always on the same. Hey, scenes. hey, now you're making fun of some friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, but. Here's another fun fact: is when somebody's using like a like a fake EOTech and it's shot out. Mm -hmm. That looks funny. It's not so bad though. <laughs> like if you just picked it up for like you know that 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 the look theme, the look <laughs> aspect. Who really cares if it gets shot out? Because it's just there to look cool anyway. I don't know about you, but I don't like spending. I mean, like a a, a good looking. Let's say we we're just going off of looks. A good looking optic's going to cost you in the range of what fifty to seventy dollars. Yeah, and having it be useless. Just for looks, yeah. that kind of seems like a waste of sixty seven. But you're waste. also, but you're also un like understanding that people pick up fifty to hundred pounds of gear just to look cool. Then there's something wrong with that's that. what I'm saying. Like if again, like some I'm, people will spend two hundred dollars on a plate carrier. Like hey me, man, like all three of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like. So but I don't do uh, it know. just to look cool. Here's I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then again, why would you rock a plate carrier at Airsoft? Because if you get shot in the plate carrier, it still counts as a death. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks again for... I'm sorry, did you want to... No, 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 that's cool. We, we went on too long. No, yeah, okay. Okay, because we're out of... We're our our cameraman is telling us to wrap it up. Well, guys, thanks again for joining us on the Not So Round Table. This chair is uncomfortable. Well, we need... All right, like this channel if you want us to get you. new chairs, because we need new chairs here. Uh, if you guys have any future questions, please uh, comment in the section below. They'll go into our Helm of Reasoning, and uh, depending on who's with us next week, uh, we might have another special guest. Chris, thanks again for joining no, us. thank you for having me. Uh, if you didn't click one of the annotations before, to there's going to be a bunch channel, on his face right now. Then, uh, then we're going to have even more annotations right now, uh, and hopefully we'll see you guys next week. Have fun editing that. Yeah. <laughs>